Hey, how come you lost that deal? How come another investor came in and offered to pay less on the same property than you did and they got the deal and you didn't? It's simple. They didn't come at the seller with one option. Now, we're seeing a trend in the real estate investing market where if you don't have cash, you can't participate. And I'm telling you, it's all of these cash offers that are making my life so much easier and yours so much harder, especially if you're trying to invest in real estate and you don't have any cash. Now, years ago, I was introduced to a concept around how and why people make choices. And when they're presented with different options, they make different decisions. And I thought, how could this apply to real estate investing? Now, for years, I had been doing what everybody else did, right? I would go to a homeowner and they'd say, I want, I want $300,000 for the house. And I'd say, I'll give you a 180. And so I was lowballing the seller. That's what everybody does. That's not in the best interest of the seller. And when you do what all of your competitors are doing, what sets you apart? What's ma what makes you different? And so I thought, I wonder, what if instead of a single all cash offer, I was to provide the seller with three different varying options where they then could choose which was in their best interest? Said differently, guys, you can't be so one dimensional in the way you approach a property or how you analyze the way that you will finance it or make it cash flow. You've got to be buying properties in the fashion that you'll be able to get the greatest rate of return on the investment of time, effort, and energy, as well as return on capital. And it doesn't always mean lowballing the seller. You've got to give the seller more than one way to sell their property. And you do this by making offers rather than just one price offers. Now, I refer to this as the three tiered offer option. Now, I invented this. You're not gonna find this anywhere else, so please write this down. Three tiered option offer. It's pretty simple, okay? We begin by giving the seller an offer like we always would, right? They want 300,000, I gotta pay 180 to be able to buy it at a price that I can rehab it, fix it up and sell it and still make a profit. But there's a second and a third option that must be considered. So we begin with option one, which is all cash. And then we give them a second option where we're gonna give them some cash, but we also ask that the seller carry a portion of the purchase price in what's called a seller finance mortgage note. And we offer them a rate of interest, 2%, 3%, 5%, doesn't matter. But option two is some cash, some financing. Then we take them to option number three. Now this is our 100% seller financed option where we offer them no cash upfront, but they carry the entire purchase price on the property. I recently closed on a deal, you know, five acre property, nice area of town, guy wanted to sell it, but he wanted, he wanted a higher price than really the property would qualify for. So he's asking $550,000. My cash offer, 380 because if I've got to come up with all cash to purchase that property, 380 is what I got to pay. Because if you don't have cash of 380,000, you got to go borrow it from a private money lender, a friend or a family member, and they're going to want eight, nine, 10, 11, 12% interest, which means your payments are going to make that deal unfinanceable or uncash flowable. So instead, I said, Mr. Seller, I can give you 380,000 in cash or uh, I will give you $50,000 cash down and you carry back a mortgage for $350,000 at 3% interest, or I'll give you your asking price. I'll give you the $500,000 that you want for the property, but I'm not gonna put any money down and I want you to carry the financing at 1% interest. Now, if I would have simply presented it with option one, it would have been a no, waste of time. If I would have presented with option two, it would have been no, waste of time. But when he saw option three, where I was offering him the very price that he was asking. He went, hey, option three, that works for me. I'm asking 500, you're offering 500. That's a good deal. Now, if I'm you watching this, I'd be thinking, so you just paid retail price to buy the, to buy the property? And my answer to you would be, absolutely, I did. Because a half of a million dollar property with incomes flowing from the rentals of $4,800 a month and a 1% interest rate that property cash flows. 
So you see, as real estate investors, we get too focused on the price we're paying and we never consider how we're paying because a retail price purchase at a low, low rate of interest with zero money down, even if your cash flow is marginal, it's still an infinite rate of return because you didn't put any money down. So what I've done is I put together a program that walks you through the stages of the three tiered option offer. If you'd like to learn more about the three tiered offer, how it's structured and how you can do it in literally seconds, click the link below.